to the ring. Choose your fight, boy! Choose your fighter, Roy! All right, everyone, welcome to uh, Northwood University versus Siena Heights. We have week one of NACE starting here today. Uh, not exactly sure who we're going to have playing. I am joined here by Zach Woods, one of our players from the Northwood White team. How are you doing? Good. How are you, Jacob? How is everyone else doing? Doing uh, great. So it looks like I'm going to go ahead and fill these in. Siena Heights has chosen to start with their gaming watch, and we have entered in our... Roy, known as Frostbite. So let's go ahead. This is uh, Unicorns. I'll just call him that. And then we have Frostbite on screen. Um, this was a blind pick, so I think that Northwood is a little bit better off um, with this matchup. I think Roy does okay in this, but uh, 
these are crew battles. The big thing is that in crew battles, you don't get a lot of time to try to figure out who's going to play in what way, uh, learning how your opponent is, but a very unfortunate SD to start up here uh, for game number one. And um, Zach, what do you think about this matchup so far? Well, I think that, uh, that SD really put uh, Sienna Heights behind, and the most important thing about crew battles is obviously oh, saving and your an stock. Oh, and an SD on uh, Northwood side. Well, that evens it, it up back. right there. But yeah, speaking of unfortunate events, uh, it is actually even now between Sienna Heights and Northwood. I think that's what you call a commentator curse, right? Commentator there. curse, exactly. But. That's what I'm saying. But uh, even here, it looks like even though Frostbite did get that unfortunate SD. Um, He's still coming back. He's only taken 6% ever since and taking a stock after that as well. Yeah, I think the biggest thing about this matchup is just having enough experience playing against Game & Watch. Because if you have not played against Game & Watch and the guy's good, you're going to get bodied. Right, and that's exactly uh, kind of what we're seeing here now. Uh, I'm sure, you know, Frostbite is kind of kicking himself for dropping that one, but... Uh, with how things are going, you know, taking three while only losing one is still a great start. Lots of neutral. And this is, you know, a lot more going on than some would expect for this matchup. And that side B is going to absolutely decimate Game & Watch. He's so light. And that's going to bring Sienna Heights down to nine stocks in this first game of the best of three. Um, we're going to have to see what Tyler bans here, and uh, we'll go on to the next one. So go ahead and do your shout out, Zach. All right, so make sure to follow Northwood on all socials. We have a Twitter and Instagram, and what's our other socials? Twitter, Instagram. Twitter, uh, Twitter and Insta the Twitch here Twitch, are gonna be the Twitch. most popular Of course, ones. Twitch, I we're knew more, I was forgetting one. Yeah, we're more active. <laughs> we are gonna be starting up the Snapchat, we'll be posting stories and stuff, maybe. Maybe. Maybe a TikTok coming Maybe. up soon. That's a that's in progress. Don't know yet if that's going to be happening, but hopefully, because that'll be a good time. We'll have to see. It looks like uh, Northwood University has dropped their bands. We're going to go ahead and wait for a response from Sienna Heights. What stage do you think it'll be, Jacob? Um. Well, the three characters they have left are going to be Palu, Mewtwo, and uh, well, before I can finish it, we are going to Battlefield. Here today. Well, that answers that. I think all three of their characters are fine with that. Brawler on Battlefield is nice. That's why uh, we saw the Yoshi's ban coming out from Tyler is because they do have a me Brawler on their team. Oh, we'd love to see me Brawler. Terrifying love character. To see brawler. Terrifying character on Yoshi's. So not sure sure who they're gonna send in. Uh, the Battlefield pick makes me think it's either the Pa. I think it's the Palu, but I could understand if they wanted Buzze as an anchor well, when do yeah I, what i was gonna say is you know based on our your experience with sienna heights who do you think when do they send in the player they're most confident in to take back the game before it snowballs out of control so they do have a very different roster here and this is an inkling which i believe is their um their player uh Oh man, what's his name? His tag is uh, Velvet. This is going to be Velvet coming in here. So we're going to see um, Frostbite dropping a stock. The here both players are going to taunt, and we're hopping right into this. So Inkling, not what we expected, and that's good on um, you know Sienna Heights side. We do they do want to mix it up. You know we had a lot of prep going into this, but. Throwing in some curveballs, always going to be for the best. I have a feeling that this is probably like a Wi-Fi pick. I know yeah. some people like to pick different characters when they're on Wi-Fi, and that'll help them a lot. I'd have to agree. And, you know, we haven't seen a lot of Inkling recently in the meta. Um, people have been choosing to play, you know, Pyra Mithra instead and other characters. So it's kind of, you can see some rust probably from some of the players when it comes to the specific matchup. Yeah, Not it's weird that you bring it up. There have been quite a few Inklings picking up Pyra Mithra. And so um, someone sticking with it from the start is uh, nice to see. So far, decently close game. Yeah, both players playing very, very patient right now. Frostbite, a little bit of a deficit. But as this set goes on, you know, in these crew battle situations, it is going to give you that time and that, that jab kill. back air. The Jair coming through, securing the stock. 
still hanging on to the last one. Um, it is looking good for Velvet right here. Oh, the that was bomb into the forward air. What a great confirm coming out from Velvet. Did not expect that. That is for sure. No. Good combo string here. Yep, getting that 39%. Gonna try to uh, take something early. You can see Frostbite is learning a little bit here, little by little, as he tries to uh, pick apart this matchup. But still even. Velvet doing a great job. Oh, the biggest key here is that Frostbite needs to get the stock with not taking too much percent. You know, you want to see that number go above 100% oh, yeah. before he gets that stock. So As it stands with this healthy percent, ooh, the delayed side B off the jab. Uh, it is Battlefield, though, so we will be living and not able to get that down air at ledge. Velvet has done a great job um, adjusting here, you know, not... Um, not recovering in a uh, predictable way and jumping over ledge a lot so he doesn't get hit by that side B. Oh, oh looking for a double Unfortunate. Dare. The up smash not going to work for Frostbite. He gets grabbed, back throw, edge guard opportunity. Frostbite definitely wants to take one more stock before he goes down. All right, that back air is going to do it. it. That's what there he needed, is. bringing Sienna Heights down to seven stocks. Gonna try to nair from ledge. You know, for a second I thought you were gonna commentate, commentator curse him again, <laughs> but uh, maybe I'm the cursor. <laughs> no, we're doing okay so far. Um, as soon as Frostbite can get a touch in, he Ooh. is gonna get a lot of damage. That was so close. Up to 54%, and this rage with Roy is gonna be terrifying. Velvet definitely wants to close this one out. The down smash, and that should be can it. He mash? He can't mash, and Frostbite is gonna be out. Here, bringing Northwood to seven and nine here against Sienna Heights. Velvet with one more stock. You know, decently close game going on here. You know, two stocks is a decent, decent margin, but it's definitely not unrecoverable. Yeah, so make sure you guys follow Northwood on uh, all social media. Just look up Northwood. We have a Twitter, we have a Twitch, we have an Instagram. That's if you want to meet the players, get a little bit more in-depth about how the school operates, see the facility, that's your best bet. That's where you should go and learn a little bit more about our program. You know, it's a great program. I can speak from, uh, you know, experience being a player here for four years now. It's a great school and uh, definitely go give the socials a look. That is for so sure. we'll go ahead and be right back. We are going to go ahead and get this arena set up as we move stuff around, and we will be right back. to the ring. Choose your fighter. Team K. Rool. And we're back. We're going to be getting into the next one here. As you heard, we have uh, King K. Rule online. Copal is going to be sent in for Northwood University. Um, we'll have to see how this plays out because um, I'm interested to see how Halcyon Heights tries to play around this pick. Yeah, he does have a very interesting pick. You don't see a lot of K. Rules going out, out and about, you know, and it's a kind of a character where you really need matchup experience to perform against. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Especially on Wi-Fi. With the, the super armor, like, come on, you know. You gotta, that's something you got to look out for. And I would say Copal's definitely on a rise, a player to look out for as well. Um, definitely. Yeah, he definitely, he placed um, he placed 11th on the Michigan PR, and um, he's doing really, really well this season. So we'll have to see um, if he can keep climbing. But here we are. We're going to wait for Velvet to drop two stocks. And we're going to go ahead and continue this crew battle here. 
in week number one of Nace. I'll go ahead and put that up there. Nace week one. <laughs> All right, both players taunting, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, optimal event here for Sienna Heights, probably be able to take uh, two stocks. You know, you only have one, so taking two is going to be exactly what you want. And obviously, Copal wants to be able to, oh my god. <laughs> that was scary. It was almost right. You don't want to see it. that if you're Sienna Heights fan. Exactly. So the turnaround Nair not going to do it. Decent combo from there he goes. Velvet. Wow. Down Look at that. Into the side B. This is looking to be like what Sienna Heights wants here. Velvet's and really putting in work. Absolutely wow. huge for Sienna Heights here. The question is, can he keep this up, you know? He's got two more stocks that he has to take if they want to make a decent comeback Oh, here. and an no. SD. Not what you want to see. Not optimal for either teams, but Velvet taking one more stock before he is out. And we'll have, we'll have to see who is sent in next. Make sure you follow Northwood on all social media platforms. Uh, we have an Instagram, a Twitch, and hopefully maybe soon a Snapchat, and hopefully maybe soon a TikTok, and then we also have a Twitter, which is our, I think, our main social media. If Mostly, though, so. we are going to be putting out content here on the Northwood Twitch. We're going to have our Rocket League games, our League of Legends games, a lot of our Smash games. So if you want to keep up to date with everything Northwood's doing, definitely follow us here on Twitch. But next up, we're going to go ahead and wait to see who Sienna Heights sends in next. You can see we got some question marks on here. And it is currently 6 to 8, Northwood's favor. If I had to say, I would assume that they are going to send in Buzze. The Palu K rule matchup is um, very in favor of Palutena. Very in favor of Palu. We'll have to see. We are going to Battlefield here for our next one, which tells me that it's probably going to be the Palutena. And with this, you know, matchup uh, mismatch, mm -hmm. um, we'll see what Copal can do. Copal, despite this being a poor matchup, um, he has, you know, everyone wants to play Palu against K. Rool, and so it's definitely going to be one of his most practiced matchups. So we have Buzze here on stream playing the Palutena. So we're going to have Copal drop one stock, and then we're going to go from here and see how this one's going to play out. Got some taunts coming in and the dash back. So Buzz A definitely wanting to do as much as he possibly can here. All right, the Nair's going to start, but Copal getting out just barely, getting on these platforms There's as well. The Nair's. And this is exactly why, you know, Palu's going to love the matchup. She can get the crown in hand. Um, and all sorts of other stuff as well. Oh. We're going to see how she recovers as the combos begin. Copal definitely likes going for that spike on ledge. It seems like it's part of his bre bread and butter. Um, let's see if the Palutena can play around that. As it's starting, you know, you want you want so much more out of this matchup. And so Copal keeping it close in percents here. This is something where you want to completely shut out the character. And the opportunity that, you know, Copal's going to be building for his team by doing well here is, you know, super valuable. Especially nice. if he takes the first stock here. Explosive Flame going to get shielded out. How is he going to get around the Blunderbuss? Teleporting through it. That's perfect. Good option. No jump, no up B. Here comes the Hopter Copter. Going to still get away. Buzzy not able to punish that. And Copal getting another breath of air into the oh, up air. Unfortunate. So Before good Sienna from Copal. And we got another combo started into the blunderbuss, into the crown. Buzzy's disadvantage already 74%, Ooh. almost ending it with the bear spike. And Copal there goes the stock. the stock there. Definitely wanted more, especially if. Copal can get one more stock here. Run up shield. Copal's going to get around it by doing 
a lot. A when you armor. have getting out of disadvantage as K roll in this matchup is going to be such a make or break. You have to outplay so hard. And Coppola is doing incredible here right now. Ooh, recovering out of the stage. Explosive flame barely avoided. Oh. Oh, the near. Gonna close it out. The reverse crown. Let's see what that's gonna build. Stuck at ledge. Buzzay is definitely doing Ooh. a very good job getting out of all of Copal's trickery and all of his crown plays and cannonballs, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's a big part of the matchup, and Buzzay is playing it super well right now. But that fair not quite doing it. That's the last thing he wants right now is to drop a stock here. Especially since we've seen Copal um, get quite a bit. You know, it's not impossible for him. Sienna Heights now down to four stocks. And the landing fair, not going to get the dash grab. Ooh. Air dodging through the explosive flame, though. Oh, my God, that bear would that have been was terrifying. Close. But the grab, edge guard opportunity for Copal. Oh, my gosh, another barely missed back. It, the up is coming out. We'll have to see if it gets punished, and it does. And that's going to be it. Copal going down, taking two. You know, so Northwood we're going to be right back as we play this out. Stick around. We'll start up again soon. All right, and we're back. It is going to be Sienna Heights versus Northwood. We are right back into this. It's going to be SGP now on the Wii Fit Trainer. We'll see how this one plays out. Male Wii Fit Trainer of all Another things. very precarious uh, character choice from Northwood. The Wii yeah, Fit. lots of interesting characters here on this roster. Pretty pretty normal yeah. here from, uh, from uh, Sienna Heights. You know, a couple top tiers, Inkling. I think that'll be the the biggest thing going for Northwood in the future, and, and even in this match, is just the fact that uh, the team plays a cast of characters that you don't often see in bracket. Buzze playing super patient. You know, he is adapting to the Wi-Fi. They know what they want. That weak tilt into the side B. And teleport cancel is not quite working out, but... A lot to be desired here for SGP. Buzze playing incredibly right now. Slowing it down. Taking his time. Yep. SGP, very patient match here right now. We're already a minute in. He's using that handy dandy soccer ball to keep his opponent away. Racking up the damage, getting some projectiles out, slowly ticking away. And you can see neither of these players want to drop a stock. It's really important for both of them to kind of Good back air. make sure they don't lose one so they Ooh. can. Ooh, trying to get some sort of shenanigans with soccer ball at the ledge that there. That could have been devastating if he stage spiked them right there. Yes, absolutely. Oh, soccer ball from ledge. Gonna Classic try to play. You can see SGP is doing really well baiting with the deep breathing every time. Able to put that out there. Soccer ball at ledge. Looking for the oh, forward nice. throw. More opportunities. Ooh! And the snipe. The snipe coming out from SGP. Able to take it away from Buzz 8 without dropping one. 
And now Siena Heights is going to send in their final player, who is Joe Shark. Joe Shark. Oh, we are going to be seeing, um, we're going to be collecting our bands. We'll go ahead and uh, take a moment. And Zach is going to tell you how cool and awesome Northwood is. All right, back for another round of cool and awesome trivia with Northwood. Uh, so for starters, everyone should follow us on all social media platforms that we are on, including Twitter, uh, Twitch, and Instagram. If you want to see gameplay live from all of our Northwood teams, including Rocket League, Smash, Call of Duty, and others, you should definitely subscribe or follow the Twitch just give a follow, actually. I didn't mean to say subscribe. But yeah, definitely follow the Twitch and keep in touch with all the Northwood boys. We uh, definitely have games almost every week, considering all the different types of esports games we are a part of. Um, main ones right now being Rocket League and Overwatch and Valorant. But I mean, after the, with this game, you know, the Smash team is definitely starting to make a name for themselves. So we'll see how that goes. But. Yeah, and Siena Heights definitely has revamped their roster since last year. Um, they look a lot better. They are looking really good. Um, we are going to be going to Yoshi's Story, so we'll go ahead and see how this last one plays out. I am going to assume he's going to be pulling out the Mii Brawler. Mii Brawler, one of oh the best characters in the game on <laughs> Yoshi's Story. So we'll play this out. It's going to be game number final three stocks for Siena Heights. Coming out from Joe Shark. Let's see how this plays out. And the Me Brawler. What's your thoughts on Me Brawler as a character? I already said it. I really think the character <laughs> is, you know, top five on uh, on this, on this on stage. Just this specific stage. Yeah, you land a single hit on. Uh, ooh, the moves coming out from SGP, and you know SGP has something in mind. Uh, you know, allowing this stage to come out. Um, as it is Brawler's best stage. Okay, the up air is what you needed. Not able to find it. Oh my Ooh. gosh, the side B getting very close to a shield break. Yeah, it's surprising how much that takes out of a shield, that's for sure. Yeah, and SGP doing really, really well. You know, this is exactly what Northwood needed him to do was to... Movement seems to be on point from SGP here. Um, able to wiggle and weave his way through all of... Uh, Sienna Heights, Joe Shark's attacks. And there's and there the down the tilt, stock. center stage. Gonna, gonna kill still. All right, so here we go. Another great hit from SGP here. Got off the deep breathing. Now, waiting out the smash. Almost got it off. That was very risky from Joe Shark. Got him with the ground pound. Nothing, nothing's gonna come out of that. Um, back to resetting neutral here. Let's see who makes the first move. And it is Joe Shark. Got a little combo off there, but it was nothing great. Oh my God, I take it back. That's, that's I take it back. Caster's curse. That was off the top there. Joe Shark just hit him with a, a molly wop of a combo. And then, all right, you know, that's just, oh, oh that's his, or SGP almost, almost did him dirty there. Almost got some revenge. And there it is, there it is. As a, Steady, steady lead on the game right here. Sienna Heights down to one stock. If Joe Shark oh, can there's somehow, shot put. somehow do this, they still have to go through three stocks of Big Higgs. Possibly a timeout coming out here in the crew battle, but it's not gonna happen. Uh, Joe Shark getting some combo starters, and we've seen Seems like he's definitely trying to camp out the Wii Fit trainer here, which is a sign of uh, he is he is definitely trying to minimize the amount of damage he's taking the stock, trying to just keep his you know maximize neutral and take the best option oh, possible. Oh, that was and the get a combo. Good combo, like right here. Joe Shock, almost. You know, it's getting close. Can he do it? Oh, good play from uh, Joe Shark here. And honestly, SGP has nothing to lose. He can go for these super hard reads because even if he drops another stock, it doesn't matter. You know, he can still he can still win it. Got a, him. got a lot of room to play with it. Plus, he's got another member of the team that uh, can, in the case of some un unforeseen circumstances. The fair not hitting and the uppie's going to come out. Northwood down to four. Let's see if SGP can close this out. At 105. And, oh. Oh, big mistake. You tried to punish We Fit Fair. Oops. 
So that's going to be game number one going <laughs> to Northwood University. And we're going to hop into the second set. We will be right back. All right, set number two here. Sienna Heights versus Northwood. As you saw on the screen, it is two, or sorry, one to zero in Three, set count two, one, against. Go. Absolutely, we are going to see Copal opening here against. Uh, I had Unicorn of Death, but we're going to go ahead and switch it over. This is Velvet. Set of uh, Frostbite. What was that? What do you think the strategy is opening with uh, Copal instead of Frostbite? Um, I think just mixing it up is pretty good. Both teams wanted to do something different. You don't want to be predictable. Um, and the up air not coming out. Oh, tech. Skill good check tech. coming out, yeah. And he's going to be able to close it there. Copal keeping that stock here. Gonna go ahead and update. Oh, gotta love that crown there. Stream. We can Put see on the way it's back. now Velvet for Sienna Heights. All right, recovery here. How is Velvet gonna get out from the corner? Velvet did a lot for Sienna Heights in the last match, and he's getting a very good start here in this one. We'll have to see what Copal can do to try to close out the stock. The fair not coming out. Crown armor gonna help him live. And the nice. up there from ledge, that's going to close it out here for you know, the first stock of set number two. Funny, because I was just about to say that uh, the percent might tell you that the game was not even, but it in fact was. 
Uh, right. K rule can really kill you at any percent above Stocks 80, I would say. Even here, absolutely. And the Barry oh, getting going right over the Blunderbuss. Second up air not hitting, though. Oh my gosh. Couple going for it all with that F smash. Okay, helicopter from down low. Opal getting back out. Late Nair into dash attack. The K rule classic. All right, jab not going to do it. That's not what you want. But Copal landing with the fair there. Ledge guard opportunity gets a reverse nair. All right. Looking at this game. Oh, good timing on the grab there to immune the crown. Yep, grab armor going to get you out of there. Another situation where both stocks are high. Yep. So And the oh. down smash catching that. How does Copal get out of this one? He definitely has to do something. Oh. This one is going to be this... All right. Unfortunate SD there from Kopal, but looking back at the game, how does he get himself back in this, Jacob? Uh, he can get an easy stock here and then, you know, get some combos. He's already Reset shown that he can do that, and he's done it in this exact matchup already. Good so, counter. Yep. Once he Keeping can take this, distance. if he can get a big combo, he'll be fine. But Velvet playing incredibly well, and this is huge as well because... Um, this will give either team, either team will get counter pick advantage here, and we'll have to see. That, that's crucial moving forward, too, considering how close the at points the game was in the first set, or in the first match. Absolutely. It was the uh, four Oh, to does zero. he get the spike here? Oh! And the late Nair going to do it. So now, here on Smashville, it's one stock to one. Both players looking to close this one out. Ooh, the he went for the spike. Out. Not going to do it. We're dodging to ledge. Counter not working there. All right, Got the bus. scoop. Can Ooh, you do the anything off of Into the back throw. There we go. Advantage state still going. Oh, but good tech. attack. What a crazy tech. Edge guard opportunity in favor of Velvet now. Late Nair. Copo going to be able to set up once again. Throwing out the crown. Blunderbuss as well. Late Nair. And oh. he gets the suck, but it's... He's not done, he's not done yet. Let's we'll see what you can do here. Two blast zones here. And the Ooh. fair is going to do it again. Really good start from Copal as he gives Northwood University counterpick advantage. That's one of the most important things in crew battles here. And the final stock... Going over to uh, our good buddy Copal here at Northwood. How does that make you feel? Zach? I feel great, you know. I mean, it's hard to not root for the team you're part of, right? But, you know, Sienna Heights is putting up a great fight. And I, I'm honestly, I wish them the best throughout the whole season. I think they're going to be a great and great team right up there with hopefully Northwood, you know. But we will have to see. Uh, who do you think's coming in next, Jacob? Uh, coming up next, I want to say maybe they'll do Buzze uh, just to get the Palo into the K rule, but they also might have Buzze anchor this time amount, uh, around, and we'll we'll see soon. You know, I would not be surprised if Buzze anchored. It seems like he has a very good grasp of the game, and Palutena is one of those characters that has um, quite a few positive matchups, to say the least. You see, you know, you see her in bra bracket all the time. She's always there, always looming. You know, so I would not be surprised either with Jacob's comment, but. We'll have to see um, going through picks and bans right now. Uh, and I must say, remember to follow Northwood on all social media platforms. Um, yeah, Twitter, follow. Twitch, Instagram. We're going to be streaming a lot of the Smash matches. If you think this is hype or if you like any of the other sets, make sure you tune in. Battlefield is the pick. I'm going to put money on... Not the game and watch. That's not what I expected. <laughs> I was Well you lost. You lost, Jacob. I Where's my lose. money? This I didn't even be bet. Unicorns of Death One coming out here. Is he a new addition to the team, Jacob? Unicorn the old team from Siena Heights, they had a pretty rough season mm -hmm. uh, in uh, spring twenty twenty two. And uh, they've almost completely revamped their team. The only returning member is Unicorns of Death, which is this game and watch. Well, let's see how he performs here. Hopefully, hopefully well, you know. 
only starter remaining from the previous season, so you got to show some love to the and game this to watch. Team, this team has been revamped, and they are looking incredible here. Northwood, uh, not to toot my own horn, but looking like one of the favorites. And, you know, some of these new faces, Velvet, Buzze, and um, Joe Shark are looking great here. Formidable opponents, for sure. Yeah, maybe we'll the, Formidable, we'll sorry. The, <laughs> we'll the, <laughs> Words are hard. See what some scrims look like, maybe. Maybe we'll play in the, in the future. So no, Copel's out I, here, and there's oh, the wow. up air. I, that was that was that killed so early. I yeah. have a feeling that I, might have been a little bit of ouchy di. Uh, took me by surprise, that's for sure. That shot coming out. All UOD wants here is to get that first stock. Just take Copel down so they can get some kind of picks here. Copel not going to make it easy for him. Oh, that fair. What a good combo from Copel. Another. Uh, Oh, oh, he recovered high. Oh, he, he read him like a book. But, and uh, Sienna Heights down to seven stocks. You know, it is one-to-one -one stock here, so, you know. Copel kind of upset that he dropped two to Velvet, and he's taking out his anger on uh, <laughs> Unicorns here. But if Unicorns Not can take this yet, one though. stock, you know, all he needs is a nine, right? That's all it takes. Just a nine. Okay, near to F-Tilt, edgeguard opportunity. That was a good play. There's a chair. Air Dodge ledge. almost getting caught up by that bear. Would have been really nice from Unicorns. Up air not going to do it. Opal, despite being down, it, you know, it's K rule. The heavies are terrifying. It's hard to kill them, and they have the power. One wrong read. Oh! And that's oh. going to do it. Game Watch being so light. Unfortunate for Unicorns of, was it death? Unicorns, Unicorns of death? Unicorns of death won. Copal taking three stocks without dropping one. So we'll have to see who they send in next. It so is six stocks to I'm, ten. I'm assuming that they're going to save Buzz A for last after, at that point. You know, I feel like you either put in Buzz A then or you put him, wait for him to anchor. Um, so that leaves us with... Who's, who's the last player, Jacob? The Sienna Heights has two players left. They are going to have um, Buzz A, their Which, anchor, you know, their rock. Oh, assuming With the Palu, and then they still have Joe Shark. That Joe Mee Shark, brawler, yes. You know. The me brawler. Copal says, Hate to see me, Brawler. Love to see Joe Shark, you know. Huge, yeah, huge fan of Joe Shark. Never met the guy in my life. <laughs> no, no, me either. Even... But he seems cool. His name's cool, you know. Got to give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to go ahead and wait here. As you're here, make sure you uh, check out Northwood University. University is great. We are a top contender in a lot of games. And if you want to go ahead and watch peak collegiate esports, go ahead and tune in on our socials, Twitter and Twitch. Northwood Esports or Northwood Esport on Twitch. Trying really hard to stall until... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, it's been something. a little a second here. We They're really thinking out their Hollow options right Bastion. now. Bastion, the stage pick, just came through. Um, Interesting I, choice of stages, that's for sure. I want to say I want to say that's still Joe Shark just because of the low ceiling. The down throw up B still might be a thing. We'll have to see. And it is the Brawler. Shout out to uh, Jacob Jacob, coolest guy <laughs> in the whole world. <laughs> Man, Jacob Jacob, what an awesome fella. Okay, we have Cannot speak enough love towards Jacob Jacob. My good buddy Copel has to drop two stocks here. And we're going to get the taunts out. There they are. Go. All right, so... You want to explain a little bit about this matchup? It's one that I'm very foreign to. Um, yeah, uh, you know, King K. Rule being a huge body, um, me brawler having a wild amount of combos. Um, but you know, Joe Shark has to be on point with these. You don't. Oh my God, it's you, terrifying. You can't oh give God. K. Rule space. If he landed to move. that up air, I think that might have been the stock. That is what me brawler is made of. That is terrifying. If Especially I do say on so this myself. stage, you know, the short ceiling with the high platform. Crazy things can happen. Oh my gosh. Oh my head. gosh. Joe and Shark. Joe Shark. He did it. We're going to go ahead and send in someone else from Northwood. We'll be right back.
And as you can see, we've went ahead and updated our scoreboard here. Northwood gonna be sending in Big Higgs, a member of the Northwood White team. Subbing in. today for... Sensational was Sessational. not able to make it. His flight got delayed. Very unfortunate for Northwood Blue, but it looks like they should be able to be just fine. You just start normally. Yeah, and Seth Stational was a key member of our, our team last year, that's to say the least. Uh, <laughs> yep, Seth, one of the strongest returning members. And uh, this one's getting close. Yeah. Joe Shark going to go Joe ahead Shark's and try his. Work. Me Brawler. <laughs> me Brawler, yeah, he's going to me brawl. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully uh, hopefully we don't send in Matt, the me boxer. That'll be a matchup for the century. <laughs> <laughs> me boxer, dude. Oh, my God, Matt is a king. Oh, Shout out man. to Matt. Never um, could beat that guy. Yeah, this matchup is going to be pretty interesting. It is going to be Puff into uh, the Me Brawler here. If if Higgs can get Brawler off stage, you know the Gimp is possible. He'll just have to make sure to work around Flip Kick to get that stuff done. But we'll see. He'll learn quickly. This matchup's going to play out right away. They don't have to taunt. They don't have to drop stocks. They're going to hop right into it. You're on Smashville. Right. Do you think the stage has a favorites one character more than the other? Or do yeah, you think this is definitely going to be a puff stage. Um, it's, uh, you know, the shorter stage since Smashville is so small horizontally. Um, it's going to give puff more chances to get characters off stage and, and go gimp. for those gimps. Yep. And if you are not experienced in the puff matchup, that can it's, be scary. It's you know? devastating. I'm. Uh, I can talk from personal experience there. I've Ooh. lost to this man many times. Me Brawler uh, throwing out a lot of smash attacks, which is terrifying, honestly, because Me Brawler smash attacks being so strong, and that weak reverse hit of up tilt potentially could have comboed into up, up B, which would have been insane. All right, there it is. Nair out of shield, little stubby legs, and there it is, the flip <laughs> kick. That's going to be integral leg. for Joe Shark. Ooh. Throwing out some shot puts here. Ooh, See? getting around him. Joe Shark is a sniper with these shot puts. He was definitely a track and field athlete, <laughs> that is for sure. Higgs slowing down the game here. Oh, the Good flip, flip kick. kick. Gonna get the hitbox out oh. there. And the sniper heard from downtown. Joe Shark gonna take a stock there. Those shot puts are just very scary. And the up air, oh. the rest is not gonna do it. Down throw up air, no oh. up B. Not Didn't what get he it wanted. Off. Seems like Higgs here needs a little bit of room to breathe and reset neutral. Yep, he's and, gonna uh, go to ledge. There he goes. The dare almost coming out. And yep. the back air is going to take air. one. Eight to five here. Joe Shark for sure putting in work for Sienna Heights. Play dash tag. Going to look for some more shot put hits. Ooh, late Good hits. Pound. Late hits all around for Higgs. And that kick, surprisingly not very strong. Suplex is insane. I'm not sure why they don't run suplex. That move does like 23 damage. And it that doesn't kill, but having a command grab is crazy good. That was a really scary roll in from Joe Shark. Okay, we are shielding out here. <laughs> All right. Higgs trying to get back. And the dash tag going to throw him off stage. No flip kick. He's going to have to recover with that. And the uppy stuffing him out. All right. Seems like the matchup is very. Joe Shark throwing out hitboxes, and that's going to do it. Seems like Northwood it's very down important to seven stocks. for the Jigglypuff to get these gimps um, in this matchup. There's a fair. A B barely going to reach there. Very important for Joe Shark. Till up air. Getting, looking for some ladder combos. All right, the fair is not going to hit. Puff being very floaty is going to make this easy for Puff. And Higgs definitely wants just that one last one. Oh, oh unfortunate no, SD. so unfortunate. <laughs> we don't want to see that kind of stuff. And the uppy Smashville, important part of that stage is the ceiling is incredibly high. Joe Shark going to have to be careful. Puff does have some shenanigans. Down are not going to connect. 
Dash tech? Wow, dash tech is very strong. Stronger than I would have expected. Especially on this stage. All right, Nair. This is, we are looking it's at some potential something rest in here. percents. Okay, He's fair into Nair. Definitely always Shot looking for that rest, that is for sure. Going to get the F tilt. Air dodge, Joe Shark is playing very scared right now. The up B. Okay, off stage. No kick from the flip kick. Late Nair into the side B, not going to do it. No up smash on the, oh. on the back air. This is definitely a one hit game scenario. And oh no! From Sienna Heights takes it. Joe Shark showing up. Fangs out. Shark teeth out. <laughs> Joe He's Shark. Coming for blood. Doing what the team needed him to do. We're going to go ahead and get some bands. And it is four stocks left for Sienna Heights, six left for Northwood. And we'll be right back during this pick band stage. All right, and we're back. And as you can see, Santa Heights versus Northwood, it is 1-0 Northwood. And these are the stocks for set number two. Joe Shark going to go ahead and drop two off the side of the stage. A flip kick out of there. One stock to take as many as he can. I'm welcomed here by, joined here by my co-commentator, Zach, AKA okay. Woods from the Northwood White team. Zach, how you doing? I'm doing great. That's good. Thank you for asking, Jacob. Yeah, you're welcome. Such a nice guy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the down throw back air. Joe Shark wants to make this as easy as possible for Buzz A. But he gets Ooh, a jab, jab lock, lock and the down angled F smash coming out too late. Joe Shark going crazy today. Joe Shark out for blood. That still kind of annoys me that he doesn't run suplex. <laughs> That's fine. That's okay. It's more mobility for recovery, I guess, but, you know. I think the biggest thing for this matchup is what wins, soccer ball or shot put? <laughs> <laughs> shot put, it's hard. Up till up air, no up B, reaching for it, can't get it. Ooh. And the F smash, that's going to be it. You can't whiff those up Bs. And it is six to three. We're going to go ahead and see what... SGP's bands are. I'm going to assume that it's shout the classic FD and Hollow Bastion. We got to give a shout out to Joe Shark, though. He did amazing this uh, set here. I took how many? He took uh, three stocks, so correct? Many. Four? Too probably, many. I can't, too many to count. Lot. Yeah, Joe Shark. You know what? Joe Shark Flan Club just got a new member. His name's <laughs> Jacob. That's me. <laughs> Zach might be joining too. Oh, what dude, we I've, I've been a fan. I've been, I've been a day one for Joe Shark. Not really. I had to, I've. Again, do not know this person, but it's a cool name. And All right. Good me fit. It is. Fit three brawler. stocks of six. Buzze is their anchor. He is an incredibly talented player. And we'll have to see what stage we go to. We are seeing some typing coming out here. The stage is going to be... Drum roll. Drum roll, please. We are about to get our stage pick here. Unicorns of Death 1 is typing, and he types Battlefield. Got to say, some good music playing in the background here. Yeah, <laughs> I like my music better, but this is good, too. <laughs> so here it is. Saints 0. The Saints setup on the Northwood setup. We're just using Tyler's. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler's setup is good enough. And here we go, hopping right into it. Drop through auto reticle, probably the most classic Palu start known to man. <laughs> and Buzze playing very, very safe. 
thing about this though is, you know, in cruise, if Palu wants to do something like take six stocks, oh, oh my that God. was scary. Um, you know, you have to play patient, but we fit. We fit says yes, please. I would love to play patient. And first hit of the game there for Buzze. Going to get some nares onto the platform as well. Little bit of a miss input. Not what you want to see out of the combo game there. If SGP can close this one out, that is going to be Northwood University starting their season 1-0. We'll have to see how things go from there. Ooh, the fair F tilt not working. Pretty even set so far. Give it a go. A starting to move a little bit. Definitely got to trap what that they ledge here. What can SGP do to get back You know, fun to fact, I should have mentioned this earlier. That would have made this a lot more entertaining to watch, is that Northwood actually tried to recruit Buzze. Really? Yeah, so Buzze said, nope, I would rather play for Siena Heights. And we have, I wouldn't even call this a rivalry match. It's just interesting to think about. Definitely, yeah. I, it very is, it is interesting, you know. Will Buzze reg regret his choice? That is the question. Not really. No, there's still love for Buzzay, you know. Siena Heights team, this team this, is really strong. This is a very good team. Yeah. I'm seeing a little bit of, uh, you know, some input errors, and that can come from lack of practice on Wi-Fi. Uh, part yes. of the recruitment process for Northwood, I did make sure that, you know, the homies can play on Wi-Fi. The homies can yes. put up with the stinkers on Wi-Fi and the... You know, some some people, it's it's but, a whole different game, especially when your muscle memory is used to offline. You know, I, I think it was actually you you looked for the stinkers on oh, yeah, Wi-Fi. Absolutely, the ones that make other people smell. Those those are the well, the yeah, Nace. Uh, extremely sad news. The only people that get to go to the LAN are the top two teams in the entire league. That's it. Yes, it's oh grand finals gosh. only. That and is so, unfortunate. Honestly, if you're trying to recruit, you want some Wi-Fi stinkers. Because you we know, love the Wi-Fi stinkers. Yeah, well, let's show some love for Wi-Fi. Nobody loves Smash Wi-Fi, but Collegiate Scene does. You know, because there's no shot I'm gonna drive two and a half hours out to Siena Heights to uh, <laughs> do something like this. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, and they're not. They wouldn't do the same for us. I wouldn't expect them to. Very patient play coming out from SGP as he tries to nail down one more stock off of Siena Heights. Back air. Ooh, oh, floating good dodge above with that. the soccer ball. Oh, oh and the up tilt. It's like or, sorry, no, the F tilt. The here. weird foot hitbox of F tilt sending him upwards. That's what it was. Not, not up tilt. Crazy. We fits moves are insane. He can just hit you in any direction all at once with every tilt. It's really funny. <laughs> but Such a here. strange character, must say. If Buzze can try to figure this one out, close it out, and then three stock crossbite, we will go to a game number three. But SGP doesn't want to let that happen. Mash, not good enough, but he is able to live that back throw. Deep breath here. That's going to be important. Delicious deep breaths. Ooh. And the late F tilt's going to do All it. All right. Can Buzze do this? Oh, the Nair's going to start it. Oh my gosh, what a combo oh. from Buzzy! And the upper doesn't hit. That would have been the most incredible play I've ever seen in my life. But Buzzy's showing that he still has life. That is to say the least. All right. Deep breathing coming through. Jab coming. What's he going to do? Tries to up smash, but the mash is too quick from Buzzy. Ooh, back air for Ooh. the jump read. Doesn't find it. Soccer ball, forward throws. And no snipe from the soccer ball. Recovering diagonally. Oh, and no that down could have air. Been scary. The jab behind. The second hit on the soccer ball. SGP setting up a ledge trap here. Going to neutral get up into the oh. soccer ball. F throw. Does he air dodge it? He tries to counter it. Still has his air dodge. Down tilt, two frame not happening. This is so scary for both players. All right, down tilt. This is very scary for Are Northwood right gonna here. Are we going to see? Buzzy's at a high percent, buddy. The huge blast zones of Battlefield helping oh. both players, but the F tilt is going to do it. And Northwood SGP. wins 2-0 over Siena Heights.
GG's to Siena Heights. They put up an amazing performance. Uh, great team, great players. Uh, wish them the best for their future matches. Um, hope they hope to see them in finals, you know? Hopefully. And that's going to be it for Northwood here today. A one-hour stream for this best of three. Not bad. We're going to go ahead and update this. It is Northwood 2-0 over Siena Heights. We will possibly see you next week. We'll go ahead and get a stream schedule. Just follow the Twitter at Northwood Esport. You can keep up to date on all of our sets, everything Northwood Smash Brothers. Thanks for watching. See you later. Step into the ring.